Hello everyone, in today's video we're excited to show you the Square payment integration. While we already offer support for PayPal, Stripe, Molly, Razorpay and WooCommerce, we're excited to add Square to the mix. Plus, this payment integration is available in all licenses, including Amelia Lite. Let's dive in and see how you can use Square in Amelia. Enabling and setting up Square is easy. All you need to do is access Amelia Settings, Payments, scroll down a bit and you will see Square. Once you enable Square integration, click on Login. For this video, we will use a Sandbox account, but it is exactly the same for live Square accounts. So, in a live account, you would enter your credentials and log in, and then you would allow Amelia to access your merchant profile information, Square orders, create or update the orders, view the payment history, take payments, collect a fee from each payment taken, so you need to allow this for the integration to work. Once you click on allow, Amelia and Square connect and the payment settings reload showing the Square services connected with the Square location selected to be the default test account. When you click on this drop down, you may have multiple options if you have multiple locations configured in your Square account settings, my business locations. In here, you can create new locations, which will be shown in Amelia right here once they are saved and configured. Please note that as shown in this tooltip, locations must be active and have card processing enabled in order for this to work. That's basically all you need to connect Square with Amelia. We will just quickly check and see if this beard trim service has Square enabled as a payment integration and now we can check it out on the live website. On the website we go through the form as we would always. And once we click on continue, as mentioned here, we will be redirected to the payment checkout. As mentioned before, this is a sandbox environment, so this will simulate accepting a payment through the Square Checkout API. When we click on Next, we will have the option to test the payment, and once that's done, the payment is complete. So your test payment was successful. This shows exactly how your customers would see when they pay using Square. In the back end, under Appointments, we can see an appointment created which has been paid using Square Payments. Back in the payment settings, if you enable payment via payment link, you will be able to add the Square's placeholder in the notifications sent to your customers. So in case your customers pay only for a deposit, they would be able to use the payment link Square and pay for their appointment after they have booked it. So again, if they paid only using a deposit or if you allowed on-site payments and they still want to pay before they come and meet you, they can use this link that will be automatically generated based on this placeholder. If you manually created an appointment for a customer or if they chose for this pay on site option but they want to pay before they meet you, they can also pay through the customer panel clicking the pay now button. It redirects the customer to the same screen they would see if they are just booking an appointment and paying for it through Square Online. That's a wrap on our look at the Square payment integration for Amelia. We're glad to offer this new payment integration along PayPal, Molly, Stripe, Razorpay and WooCommerce, but we're also glad to announce that Square is available in all Amelia licenses, including Amelia Lite. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. While you're here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified about all upcoming videos. Until next time, take care guys.